Joining me now, famed economist Ben Stein. Ben, do you personally have concerns about Puzder? Well, he would not have been my first choice. Uh, on the other hand, I do want to say I love Carl's Jr.'s charbroiled chicken sandwiches, <laughs> but I, I don't get paid with them, but they are great sandwiches. But look, he had an entirely different mission as head of this giant restaurant company, which was to keep wages low in a very, very competitive field to be able to put the product on the counter at the lowest possible price. He's obviously a terribly intelligent man. Now he carries a different brief, and his brief now is to improve the lot of American workers. As to his being opposed to a $15 minimum, uh, an hour minimum wage, I mean, almost everyone is opposed to that, except in very a few left-wing circles. Uh, by the way, I'm not opposed to it, but almost everyone else is. As to the Super Bowl commercial, I mean, that's a joke. That cannot seriously be held against him. This is a man trying to sell hamburgers. It's certainly not wrong to show an attractive woman in a bikini to try to sell hamburgers. So uh, he's a t terribly smart guy. Would not have been my first choice. But he's a smart guy. I think the president is owed a certain amount of deference in his choices. When you talk about uh, the, the commercials, the women in the bikinis, uh, you could argue that he is sexualizing, objectifying women through commercials. So there, there's a well, character could issue I stop there. You right, could I stop you right there, madam? Because that's what all TV is. I mean, all TV is sexualizing and objectifying women. And I have to say, as a Doesn't person who's right. married... <laughs> it doesn't make it right, but, well, I don't know, maybe it does make it standard practice in America. If you were to hold that against every person who's ever done it, I think you're going to be holding an awful lot of those big people in the Screen Actors Guild and in the Motion Picture Academy very much responsible, too. I, I agree. It's a real problem. It's a genuine problem, and I think uh, the, the, the objectifying and sexualizing of women, especially at a very early age, is extremely distasteful. But uh, he was selling hamburgers, and... Uh, I think to hold that against him as an administrative officer of the U.S. government just makes no sense at all. With Let's get all, with back all to jobs. Respect. Let's get yes. back to the, the Labor Department secretary position that he's up for here. Puzder has talked about automation as the wave of the future, describing machines this way, and I quote, they're always polite, they always upsell, they never take a vacation, <laughs> they never show up late, there's never a slip and fall or an age, sex, or race discrimination case. So, Ben, if he's all about automation, should Americans be worried he could be a job killer? I don't think he's all about it, madam. I think the thing is, that's the wave of the future. If you look at the data, these enormous amounts of job losses in factories and manufacturing have to do much, much more with manufacturing than with working with jobs being deported to Mexico or to China. And automation is just a fact of life. It's got to happen. That's just what the way life is. I don't think he's saying, I'm going to fire all these people and have machines and robots take your order at the Carl's Juniors. But by the way, he might. That's happening at McDonald's. He might have that happen. That doesn't mean he's a poor choice. It means he recognizes reality. Again, he would not have been my first choice, but he is not reflecting anything more than the prevailing view of what the labor is and what restaurant merchandising is in America today. He's not, he's not a bad guy for saying the facts about what life is like in the restaurant business.